And like, motherfuckers is like, oh, what about you don't miss nobody? I said, bitch, the only time I miss something is when I swing and they duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I miss some shit. Let's go. <laughs> You guys all play Fortnite together without me. Yeah. That's because you suck. If you choose, Fuck you. You're a noob. You, yeah. you suck at games. I got the best skin in the game. Wow. You literally still have the default skin. Yeah, it's a fact. <laughs> Welcome back to Impulsive. It's a fact. The number one podcast in the world. Oh, God damn, I love this show. Mm. Thank you guys for listening, watching, and viewing. If you're not subscribed, I'm a f- broken record. Subscribe. Just do it. Before- Why are you still telling them at this point? Like, uh, what, what the fuck is wrong with people? It's always, it's, uh, you always would know plug. this. Always yeah. plug, call to action, CTA. CTA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important to yeah, get the viewers right. hitting that subscribe button. Yeah. We do an audio only Q&A with the guests after the visual is done. So Spotify, iTunes, again, wherever you listen to podcasts. Yo, we have, um, we have a sponsor today. One of our first sponsors in a while um, on the podcast. We got him back. We did. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Maverick. By Logan really? Paul. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They um, have been really blowing up. They they have the so- hottest, softest merch, correct? That's what they if, say. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So. yeah, they've been good to us. So uh, <gasps> get, get the hottest, softest merch in the game. LoganPaul.com slash shop. It's that Maverick life, baby. Do it different. What are you wearing, by the way? It's fire, right? That's it's dope. fire. It's like know. probably best jacket I've ever like, seen in my life. Like, quite honestly, I don't know. What fucking YouTuber is doing it? No one. No one. It's just, we know that. It's no been one. good. We just re- released the, the, the first episode of Best Friends, you saw? Yeah. The house is buzzing right now. And we got a dope-ass guest today. We got a dope-ass guest today. <laughs> Truth. <clears throat> Should I do it like a like you said? I, th- I think so. <sighs> bum, bum, Introducing bum, bum, first. Bum, 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 he is an amateur, amateur champion. A professional boxer. The contender. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> The contender, two-time Emmy Award winning master trainer. It's Hollywood's very own Hollywood Hino. Hino, 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 Hino. 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 Some of these other dudes don't know, but I'll tell you, he knows. Let's fucking go. (laughs) What does he know? Yo, yo. What does he know? What a time. Good to see you, champ. Good to see you, champ. It's long overdue. Yo, for real. It's like you forgot what about us. You start hanging out with, with no. A-listers and you don't want to <laughs> fuck with your boys anymore, bro. And you guys are A-plus listers. Stop. Stop. Oh, stop. shit. Stop. You stop. So, uh, hey, thanks for coming to Encino. Man, I love it, man. It's cool, right? I, by, by the way, after I met you, Mike and I both decided that I would become the Encino Hino. Encino Hino. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you copyright that? Uh, we should. We're you have to. It. Yo, you just hit 100K on, on the gram. Ah, oh, man, that's, uh, is that's that tight. an accomplishment? I don't know. I mean, I mean it's a start. Not, nowadays, yeah. I need to hit 100K in my bank account. <laughs> Shit. Wait, but how, that's better. how has it not happened yet, bro? You like, you, you're you you're quite literally blowing up right now. You're training with the biggest celebrities in the world. Like, the biggest um, names, the biggest names. Dude, check this out. I went to your website. Yeah. The oh, Man, The Myth, oh, The yeah. Savage. Oh, that's oh, dope. Wow. No. Bro, Look at you doing your research. Of course, dude. I take one scroll down. Kevin Hart. Boom. Uh, that's just a, that's Hollywood Hino looking now. ripped. Yeah. Kanye West. Easy. You know. Kevin Hart again. Look at this. This girl. Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland, bro. That's the, bro, Kelly Tyrone. Ripsy, bro. Tyrone we Woodley. The world, yes. Bro. We train real killers too. Usher. Usher. Young Ush. Looking good. Ty- man, Who? damn. That's a lot of... Dog, that's a lot Dave of high, high, high end... Bro, it's like the entire... Know, respectable people. It's the whole that's the number one thing like, that I'm yo, about. The respectable people. Of course. That people respect, you know. People admire. You You're know? doing good because um, I know it's very easy to fall in the celebrity trainer category. Yeah. And, yeah. like, you're not that. No, I'm not that. Thank you. Thank of you course. for reading it. I, you have of to like, remind people of that. Like, I don't want to fall in that category. Well, even when I you met know? you, um, yeah. <clears throat> that first day that we met and you beat my ass. No. <laughs> because my coach yeah, Mills made us believe the hype. No, no. Let me tell you what Blame happened. <laughs> My coach Milton was yeah. like, I know this guy, he know. And I'm like, so okay. I, don't, I automatically sounds terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> this, was like, this was like one of the first sparring sessions that you did. Mind no, the, mind first, the, the first. first. Like, the first. The first ever. Milton's giving me the third. It was the third. The third. Third sparring session. <laughs> yeah. And bro, like, I don't know what the fuck. I'm, the it first was, two yeah. were sticks. Like, I'm pretty sure you yes. fought sticks. You know, backyard. saying it was the first real training. It, it was the first session. real. Yeah. No, it was like the the wake up call. Milt was like, when Milt called me, I don't know if, I don't know if he ever told you. He's like, he's like, okay, he's moved around with some guys, but they weren't on his level. So now he thinks he everybody. Got a, yeah. Oh, he was getting so a big not, head yeah, yeah, and he yeah. needed you to squish that shit. I need you to give him the humble yeah. pie. I said, oh, I got tons of that over here. He, he's, he, Milton's right here, by the way. Yeah. What, what's good, Milton? You want, trying to kill me, dude? So I get in the ring with Hino. Yeah. 
understand. I didn't really understand uh, gym etiquette or anything. And we were mm. at your gym, right? Yeah. So that's the other thing. It's like you're in front of your boys, the people you train, whatever. Yeah. And uh, quickly, quickly humbled me. You whooped my ass. Yeah. You were like hooting and hollering between punches, bro. You're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> please stop. But um, that was a good one. I bring that up because that uh, sparring session happened yeah. sort of before, I think, or maybe around the same time you even started training with Kevin and Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what, I mean, how does that even come about? How do you meet these people? Is it word of mouth? Um, it's, it's, it's everything. It's number one, uh, uh, hard work, consistency throughout the years. And then, you know, and then finally, I, I strongly believe uh, hard work never goes on notice, you know, you just got to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And one day you could be, you've seen the memes on the gram. You could, oh, be, yeah. you could be working for five to 10 years and yeah. nothing will happen. And then one day it's just, yeah. and then Truth. that's what it is. You know, Truth. it's just, it's just hard work. It's consistency. It's constantly believing in yourself that you're the best and, and the best like tracks the best. And that's what it was. You they know? call it a 10 year overnight success. Yeah, know? that's what it is. 10 you to 15 years yeah. of, of hard work. Because people see that one. happening right now. You yeah. know, like you're getting calls from people like Diddy will call and then Diddy is like, yo, man, I got to get in, which I'm like, this is Diddy. <laughs> like I have a post on my wall. It's crazy. Like, like I can't get into your concert. But now it's not. You know, this and is- they're reaching out to you. So, you know, yeah. so when, when you get those kind of things, you know, then you start to feel like, okay, all them years of no sleep and, 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 you know, like blood, sweat and tears, yeah. my jaw been broken in the gym and uh, it's finally worth it. It's making sense. Yeah. When you get a call from a dude like Diddy. Yeah. And you know, all the other celebrities you're training, how mm-hmm. do you, how do you stay humble? I'm I'm internally screaming. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? On the phone, you're just I'm like, like Logan, oh, yeah, stop bet. playing these games. I know it's you. <laughs> no, no, you know, no. You're faking it. You when, know, you, so. when your head gets big, who does Milt send to humble you? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Milt scares me when people are like, you know, he's like 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 the old school fighters, like the Pennell Whitaker and the, like the guys that he knew when they yeah, were kids, yeah. Mike Tyson and those guys. Ooh. Hey, I need you to scare this guy. He's in Vegas right now. I need, he's at this restaurant eating. <laughs> Go scare him. I'm like, Milt, what are you doing? Why, Why is he, he doing, doing this it? to me? Let me live off my high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah enjoy my 15 minutes of fame, you know. Exactly. So. Spe- speaking of Tyson, Spencer's got some stuff going on with Mike right now. Dude, Mike's, Mike's, Mike's cool. Have you talked to him recently? Not recently. I just seen him in the New York, um, the show, you know, the, what is it called again? What was Mike it? Tyson show. The, the Hot Boxing? The Broadway mm-hmm. show. What's the Broadway show called? Oh, he's got, oh yeah, that's right. He's Mike Tyson has a Broadway yeah. show? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He does, he, yeah. It's amazing. It's That's crazy. Yeah. It's more comedy than even anything Damn, else. I didn't know like that. Like the way he explains all the real things that's happened in his life. It's, it's so funny, whoever put it together. And, and just hearing Mike Tyson do like a stand-up, stand-up is yeah. the most as, funniest thing. As a boxer, uh, it, he's uh, in... Um, you know, he's weathered that storm and he's still doing things. He still has the uh, Broadway yeah. show. He has Movies. his own podcast, his mm. own company. Like... You see someone who's gone through boxing, they're getting hit in the head so much. And yeah. but like, how do you, after leaving the sport, kind of like, you know, still integrate with society and still like do things? Because there are a few people doing it, but you, like you see a lot of people struggle. Yeah. How do you do things? How do you still do things? How do you still do things? How do you still do things? I don't know. I just felt like since day one, I was I was more than a fighter. Yeah. You know, fighting was just one of my talents that I that I did. And I always looked um, um, like, like further than, than what's happening now. I always look for, okay, what after this? Mm. What if I don't like boxing no more? Which then happened because I lost the passion for the training aspects of it. I'm always going to love boxing. It's in my DNA for the rest of my life. So, so I said, what am I going to do when I don't feel like doing this anymore? Because I got a serious ADD problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I started thinking like way ahead, like even competing and still winning fights in in great fashion and making money. I was like, what am I going to do after this? You know, my career might end early or late, like some people and then end late and have speech impediment problems and, and all that thing. So that's when I started looking into something else that had to do with boxing, but still making a living. Protecting it. Protecting your brain. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's when I started doing the training. Yeah. And and I think the way you're doing it right now is probably quite honestly, the most exciting way to successfully <laughs> pivot. I mean, bro, how, you're not just like 
training people. You're no, training no, no. the biggest entertainers yeah. in the world. Yeah, and then I'm enjoying the perks that come Hell with yeah. it. Like, yeah, like dude. the beginning of this year, like the first two weeks, I was like in like a 10, 10 star hotel on a private jet. You know, like I don't know. I don't see no other trainers doing that. <laughs> no, not even not. if they're training like like Manny Pacquiao or like a big they're still not doing what I'm doing. Like yeah. I, when I look at their resume. You're not you're not training them one day either. Like I I'll no, see no, you. No. Well, you're with no, Drake. These guys and are consistent. You're with the with with the six, six god every every yeah. day or whatever. No, 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 like five times yeah. a week. Five times a week. Like like I'm training like the consistent I don't know, I get turned off with like if you're not trying to do it like three times a week, which is like what the standard is, like yeah. to to learn the the game of boxing to learn the sport of boxing like I've been doing this twenty one years you know like and we went to the gym back in the day six days a week yeah. like like how you guys yeah. are training for the fight like six days a week is is crazy you know so so if you're not trying to do it like three times a week or more then we're wasting each other's time yeah, yeah. so we you know, are uh, question I I want you to be honest with me okay how, I'm gonna try my best so like when when I'm training for the fight and yes. we're doing the six days a week like yes. four hours a day we're we're in training camp. That's it. That's training. How man. how um, much of that are you training? You know, with with these big celebrities, is it like a light workout? Is it thirty minutes, an hour, two hours? Oh no, it's like it's like an hour, hour and a half. So it's like a, it's a casual workout still. Y'all 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 no, pushing it. No, I don't it. do casual. <laughs> I, I only have one level. You don't do savage. anything casual. Nah, I don't do anything I've, been, casual, I've been out yeah. with you. I've been out with you before on the streets of Manchester. There's it's, nothing it's casual savage. about that it's, shit. It's bro. just a savage lifestyle. It is. It's like yeah, you like, just make up workouts yeah. too. Like I've seen videos of you just throwing weights like yeah. across the room into a tire. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> we'll <laughs> throw this weight at this time. How do you come up with this stuff? Legit. Like, do you just make it up as you go? Half of it, half of it is freestyle. Half of it is seeing somebody else doing something and then you take it and make it your own, you know, and half of it is like, it's just, it's just like, it's just a random, like we're geniuses. We're all geniuses. You hey, know? Thanks man. So I don't know so about yeah. Mike. Yeah, well, That's no, Mike is a genius. He in, is. In whatever he, he does that he know, he knows you that. can't do, he's a genius at that. <laughs> you know? we, got so, an, we got an example from last night, yeah. but he won't share it though. Oh yeah, uh, no yeah, yeah. shit. He shuts we'll up. He shuts up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're all geniuses. We all we all have our greatness in us. So so like half of that stuff that you see is just me being, you know, all geniuses are crazy in their own way. So and you're like fun. just me being cuckoo ness and be like, oh yo, let's try that. Take that, take that uh, dumbbell and see how far you can throw it down a fifty yard f- football field. You know, they're like, why? It's like just for content. Just do it. Have you ever just done do anything it. like dangerous, like with weapons or swords or something? Well, he's the boxing coach. <laughs> <laughs> why would, I mean, it's, it's, it's Hollywood. Sword. He take the sword. Yeah. It's Hollywood for getting over. over. Yeah, we've thought of like we've thought of crazy stuff, which never happened. But it's, it was just an idea. No we swords. never followed up with it. No, like thinking of like bringing like like endangered species animals in the gym. <laughs> uh, and, like we've thought of it, like something I wrote. Damn. Down like five years ago. Imagine like, Kevin Hart and were, yeah, <laughs> fighting a, 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 a kangaroo. You know, like let's go to Australia. Let's let's put on boxing gloves and fight a kangaroo. You know, we've thought of stuff like that, but it never went through because like Peter there was and, so many yeah. rules. Yeah, Peter to, probably to wouldn't like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah, there's so many rules to things like that, and, and you know we didn't want to get looked at in bad light. I heard they're coming out with a new uh, a new fighting league called UF Beast, and you you fight. You have some of the biggest. Beasts. Beasts. Shut <laughs> up. No, that's not true. Silverback no. gorillas, giant extinct alligators. No, no, I can't. Woolly mammoths. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Woolly mammoths. It was, it was, it was, it was a movie Maybe idea. It was a movie idea <laughs> that great. I had, but I was about to Google that. <laughs> you have beast. Yo, so um, you know, you sit you sit here and we're all smiling and laughs, but and you're giving like hints of this is yeah. You're a, you're an animal, dude, and I don't think I'm a, we've. I'm a savage. You are, dude. I'm a savage. And I've been beast. in the ring with him. I know, yeah. and um, I don't think a lot of people uh realize that. Like here in this video, which one? Do you say that, that? First off, this dude is huge. You have that's young Mikey undefeated bro, heavyweight. He's huge. He calls yeah. him young Mikey. Yeah, <laughs> young Mikey. Young Mikey. <laughs> Jesus, mother sounds God. like the nicest. He's 41 years old, but young, young Mikey. Mikey. Yeah, call Damn, him but check it. Undefeated savage. heavyweight. That's my fucking beast. Kill or be killed. Mm-hmm. A fight, kill or die. That's what we live on. Fight, kill or die. We're either fighting, we're killing, or, or somebody's killing us. That's life. That's the mindset. What about, life, what life about when you're arena. just like eating cereal and shit? When is it? <laughs> like you're at breakfast, like just eating some Captain Crunch. Like, Yo, is you're that, killing that Captain that's Crunch. Just you, that's just you taking your 
Two minute break and then you go back to being a savage. All right. You gotta wake up savagery, go to sleep savagery. That's just my mental. I remember that. one break that you took um yeah. in Manchester. Yeah. Um <laughs> when me and you sparred for a few minutes. Yes. I think you must have been taking a break because <laughs> I, I remember that pretty well. And uh I, I beat that the shit the out of you, dog. Yeah, I was just I was just letting you get your confidence up, you know, before I started to destroy you by that, that I, time. Playing, you dude. got fatigued, so I didn't want to jump. I didn't want to just, you know, steal the shine away from the guy. I'm playing, were, dude. I stepped in there know. and I was I was like, I don't even want to get near this yeah. dude, bro. He's a he is it's, a presence. Mike started bro. breathing. He started breathing hard after two minutes. <laughs> and Milt is so messed up. He's like, oh yo, throw, throw a punch. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to come on. <laughs> come on, man. Dude, Milt just we're wants to get his, yeah, his, yeah. His, people he, to get his ass beat. Yeah. No problem, no problem. He's been in the game so long. He's just so used to like blood, sweat, tears all the time. I'm like, dude, we're just having fun in here. Just having fun. <laughs> but they can't see that. <clears throat> I love it. Um, Milton's a true savage too. No, yeah. So, so you uh, you were on the contender, yeah? The contender and, season four. And what what other boxing credentials? Because you're like uh, you're a champ, dude. Yeah, I'm just I'm just. Um, I was in the USA boxing team, representing the USA from like 1998 to like 2001, travel all over the world. And that was like an experience like no other because I was like in high school and then, and then I would have to ask the teacher for like a permission slip for like two weeks. And she was like, where the hell are you, you going? You, you were in high school on the USA yeah, boxing yeah. team? Damn. <laughs> and she would be like, she would be like, she would be like, where are you going again? I'm like, miss, I told you I'm a fighter. She's like, no, you, you play on the soccer team in school. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and on the basketball team. I was like, yeah. And I'm a fighter at like boxing lessons were 7 p.m. Oh, so I had you would I, go home from school. I would go after home practice. from school to, to soccer practice, and I would go to basketball practice or game, whatever. Or I would go to baseball practice, whatever. Or my swimming lessons were like right after school sometimes. And I and boxing, and I'll go to boxing every night. That's crazy. From seven to ten p.m. was boxing every night. Lost Battalion Hall, Queens Boulevard. Remember? Let's so go. so I had I had that two forty five p.m. out of school till six to do anything else, you know, you know, practice yeah. all games. Yeah. And then I had boxing and, and kids used to look at me like, I was crazy. Like, what do you mean? You have boxing? I said, boxing starts at 7 p.m. every day. And I went, it's crazy. Went, yeah, dude. yeah. So My I had enough time to, 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 I don't know. I, I was like, man, I wish I still had that energy now. You know, <laughs> well, you that still I do have a lot of energy. energy. Yeah. How, yo, how, how old are you right now? I'm almost 40 years all old. All right. So here's the deal. When I first met you, I told Milt this too. I said, <sighs> This dude's like probably 28, 30. <laughs> he Legit, goes, yo, nah, he's like, man. Mike. Really? He's you like, Mike. That young? No. He's man. like, Mike, he knows damn near 40 years. I'm like, no man. fucking way, bro. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, dude's energetic. He's yeah. built. Yeah, he runs just, the streets. Like that you should have told me in my twenties, man. I was like, I was like literally like on a thousand percent every yeah. day. People see me nowadays, they're like, yo, you're so crazy, you're so hyper. How you do that at 5 a.m. every day? I'm like, and you should have saw me back in the day. Oh, no I way. Was way worse. Yeah. I was way worse back oh, in I was shit. louder. I was like more energetic. I was like, <laughs> like, like, I remember the other day we played basketball and it was like two full court games. I was like, dude, man, I'm, I'm done. It was like, there's a, <laughs> man, you used to. I said, yeah, you used, used to. to. I used to be on the court all day in the sun. Listen to the sun. I, I was like, I can't do that no more. I was like, I quit while I'm ahead now. Yeah. I won two full court games. I'm That's out. Enough for me. Yeah, I'll yeah. see you guys in a few months. Not tomorrow, in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the videos of you when you were younger. Yeah. Savagery. Yeah. Was, like savagery, was, bro. Was, like you just crazy. annihilated. Uh, was it only yeah. boxing then? Was that was that your career? That, and, was, and that was yeah, yeah. Because like, like, like I had to let go to other sports. I was so good in football, man. I used to like what position? I used to play fullbacks and 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 I oh, was uh, a punt yeah. return. Yeah. yeah. You know, so like, so like. Then it got expensive, like to um, get the equipment yeah. to play for the team. And my mother was like, you know, was like, got seven, seven, eight kids. So she was like, yo, I, I, I can't afford that. And, and you know, you're like, man, I got to find a cheaper sport. But I still wanted to play contact sport. Now, where, you know, where, where'd you grow up again? I grew up in West Africa, Nigeria. Yeah, I so you, you, didn't, you didn't grow village. up here. You grew Not up in grew Africa. Up in the States. Yeah, I grew up in Africa. You know, we had like no electricity, no running water, like, don't talk about Jesus, no internet. Dude. This is 2019 and they still don't have those things. You know, so that's why I grew up. I came to the States when I was like 13 and I didn't speak no English, you know, and I had to like super learn, learn, learn. They like, say um, if you're foreign, 13 is the age where you either will 
keep your accent mm. or lose it. Oh, you think so? <laughs> well, that's what they say. And I, cause yeah. I don't hear an accent. I'm like, where, where no, is no, it? No, no, no. I've been, I've been in New York 25 years. And now. what was it? Queens? And I moved here. Yeah. I grew up Queens, in Queens, New yeah, York. Yeah. The real coming to America story. Yeah. For real. You know, like Jackson Heights, Queens, yeah. you know, and you know, so and what was that I came like? to the States. I'm sure. Man, shit it's, a, it's a culture shock. You know, you, you grew up somewhere else with a whole different, um, um, upbringing. And then you come here and everything, people are like, what were the things that were different? I'm like, everything. Everything, the way people talk, the the food, like, like, you know, like you had to adapt to like, like the school system and just everything was different to me. You know, like, like there was nothing, there was, there's nothing that happened in the States that happens back home. What was know? like the most shocking thing when you first came here that you remember? Damn, the most shocking thing. Damn, that's a good question. I think when I went to school out here and, and I had these, these, these brothers that was, that was a culture shock to me. These brothers, and one of them was like Johnson, and the other one was Williams. I was like, you're brothers. Why do you have two different last names? I never understood that. Oh. It was like, oh, we have the same mother, mother different father. Yeah. I was like, no, you don't. I was like, how? How do you? <laughs> so those, those are culture shocks to me, you know? Really? Like, like, I never saw nobody, uh, well, your brother and sister in Africa, you all have the same last name. Yeah. So when I came here, you know, because you have the same parents. So when I came here, that was a, my first, like, ever culture shock. I was like, I was like, I know these two brothers and they have different last names. So how did you start to learn English? Yeah. Like I can't um, imagine being surrounded by just a bunch of <laughs> They put you in the ESL class, English as second language, language, but you can't talk to nobody else either because they don't just want to speak Spanish. Just random just Chinese. <laughs> so you can't have no friends because yeah. I'm speaking African and nobody understands each other. So we just have to listen to the English teacher until whoever progress is um, better in English. Um, Good luck. Then yeah. we start to yeah. speak to each other in the class, you know? So you just start repeating what your friends say and you get teased a lot and kids try to like uh, bully you and things of that nature. But when I started boxing- <laughs> How man, long did the so bullying cool. last? I didn't last that long. <laughs> it didn't last that long. Verbally, and that, I still get teased till today. You know, when people see like my, my name on paper, they're like, what is this? You know, but- Kevin but Hart teases you all the time. Oh man, I get Bro. roasted by everybody, everybody. But it's it's fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I take, he's a comedian. That's what he's supposed to do. What's your real name? My yeah. real name is Ejino Men Ejicameno. I, I was going to say it, but I, I didn't think I could pull that nah, off. Nah, if you'd have messed it up, I would have swung a left hook. <laughs> no, that's what, that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm disrespect just, to his... Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> My grandfather's uh, rolling his grave. Yeah. Wait, was... Yeah. was, uh, was like Queen, like people are like, yo, Southside Queens, like yeah. as, like a, as like a crazy thing, but was, yeah. was Queens an upgrade for you? Like, well, you know what I'm saying? From from coming over from Africa? America like, that, as a whole was an upgrade That's what I'm me. saying. So it's Yeah, like, because like, like, like even the, the, the basic things that we take for granted here, you know, yeah. like the basic things like food, food always in the fridge, hot or cold water. People don't think that's big, but it's huge <clears> for somebody like me yeah. that only bathed with one temperature kind of water his whole life, you know, and it's cold and mm -hmm. there's no option, you know? So like things like that of that nature, like, like there's always light on out there. Like they uh, will sit in darkness for like three days and it's normal yeah. out here. I remember we had a blackout in New York city a few years ago for like less than 25 yeah. hours. Oh my God. Forget <laughs> about it. People jumping in the huts and killing themselves. <laughs> I said, this happens every day in my country. They said, why are you so calm? I'm like, this is every day in my country. Like, you know, so like the things that people take for, for granted, like, like I, I didn't have a pair of shoes for a while. I used to go to school barefoot. You know, then I come to America, then I have this huge closet with 300 pairs of sneakers and, and, and people are like, people are like, oh my God, why you got so many sneakers? Like, because I, used I to, can. Because I can shit. now. Yeah. You know, because back in the days, I used to go to school with a, my, my books were in a plastic bag with a hole in it and, and, and I was going barefoot, but I was just going to school. That was the norm. Do you ever, you know, do you ever get, um, pulled into like the street life, like in Queens and shit? Cause yes. It, yeah. Yes. But I never, I never accepted that because I felt like it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for me. I always, <laughs> it's funny, but I was say, I was say, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to get like that. There's no women there. You know, that was always yeah, my thing. Yeah. I was like, why would I go to jail? Like I have no reason there. Like I don't want to be a bunch of, with a bunch of dudes that are like, have no like future or no ambition. I didn't want to be around people like that, you know? So I never got locked up. I never got in the street then because I just felt like there was no longevity in it, which yeah. to today, there's, there's no longevity yeah. in it. It's like you shine for like a few days, you're a drug dealer, you make a lot of money and then you get caught. Yeah. What's the sense of that? 
you know, you're hot one summer, two summers. Whereas what I'm doing is longevity. Yeah. You know, I'm going to take this training thing and turn it into an empire and, and be good for the rest of my life. My son's going to go to Harvard. Yeah. You know, like things of that nature. Like, why would I want to be a street kid so I could shine? I don't know no street kid that I grew up with that's, that's still hot right now. You get a chance to tell that story? Nah, not really. You know, we just talk amongst yeah. amongst guys that we grew up in like, yo, remember so-and-so? Oh, he got shot. Oh, so-and-so, yeah, he got six baby moms. Like, those are stories I hear, you know? Yeah. like I'm like, okay, I, I can't relate. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Shit, I'm going to fucking Paris next week. Huh? What, what y'all doing? <laughs> On the private jet. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, going to Paris. What, what are you guys doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, Chris Brown going to his house right now. Like, what, what are you guys doing? You yeah. know, those kind of things. Like, like though, when you go back to the hood, like, the stories are not relatable anymore. You know, and they and they will call that like, oh, you being you be in Hollywood. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm Hollywood. But you you be in Hollywood or you you think you're better than us? I don't think I'm better than anybody. Like you gotta understand, like I, I came from Africa and I met y'all here and I surpassed y'all. So like y'all gotta look at that as that I should be motivation to everybody I went to junior high school. You just, high made, school you with. just made smart moves. You just I made just smarter made moves. Smart decisions. I just know like coming to America was like a big opportunity for me, for yeah. any immigrant or whoever comes to this country. And if you don't take advantage of the opportunity, you know, while it's given to you, like it's it's gonna be yeah. back to, you know, going over the wall. Like I feel like a, I feel like that's a nature of uh what you've done. I mean it's yeah. it's inevitable that even like no, me, you can't dodge it, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're too Hollywood for us now. Guys. Like Yeah, yeah. It's not that. Nah. It's not that. Hey, we we all used to ride our skateboards together, remember? Yeah, true. Yeah, true. We were all on the same level at one true. time. Yeah, true. And then I just climbed the ladder of success faster than you because I had a vision, you know, and some and you guys were lazy or whatever your reason was. Oh, you probably but as time goes by, you know it too. Some people don't want this. Lifestyle. That's right. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Right. It's a lot of pressure. Because when I leave here, right now, look, look, Mike, ask Mike how many times we talked on the phone yesterday. Because I'm, we're still trying to make sure Time that I'm coming here. Because shit. I don't know oh. if I'm coming here or not. Got it. You know. And I was right. You know. Right after this, I'm running the Kev house. After yeah. Kev, I run the Drake house. You know. And after that, you never know the call. You know. So yeah, yeah. Some people don't want that kind of pressure on their and life. He, and you're, you know, you're they don't want that random kind of pressure yeah. on their life. They don't. You're, uh, you're single, huh? Still, man, I'm. I'm. Are I'm you not single? I'm, I'm always I'm single. I'm in a relationship with God. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm there never single. I'm in a relationship. I like with God. that. Yeah, I like awesome. that. Yeah. Yeah. Can't uh, they, if that was a like, smooth like, curve, like, right? that was an answer. <laughs> 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 you like that one, right? Yeah, yeah. You have kids, Don't right? Steal that. Don't steal that. You have, got, a, you have a son. I got one son. He's I got a one G. son that I know of. <laughs> no, no. Hey, I like that. Because it's us guys here. But I got one son, 18 months old, Xander Finn. He's, he's like he's like becoming his own legend. He's like all these followers on social media. I'm like, who are these people that's following my son? Like, how did you know him? And, you know, like, it's crazy. He's getting like modeling gigs. I'm like, no, not now. You try, you're trying yeah, to raise him in out. You're trying to raise him in L.A.? In L.A., in L.A., for sure. What do you think of that? I love it. Like, like you know, like, Two weekends ago, we he went to the East Coast for the first time, and it was like 18 degrees. I could see his face like, uh, <laughs> what the hello, fuck is going um, on, guy? Where what the, is this feeling? Where are the palm feeling? trees? <laughs> Why am I wearing two big bubble coats? You know? So, so I don't know. I just feel like um, L.A. is a good place to, to raise kids. Uh, there's a lot of landscape. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of opportunities here, you know, that he can, he can capitalize on later on with my guidance, you know, and, um, he's going to play sports. He's going to be an athlete and, and everything boils down to his choice, whatever he wants to do. Any sports you wouldn't let him play? No, he play whatever he wants. Yeah. Cause nobody told me not to play. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. I tried every sport and then I made <clears> the <throat> final decision. Boxing is what I want to do. I, uh, I'm, I'm the same way. I, yeah. I, I will say though. I think if my kid has a urge to play football, yeah. I'm going to make sure he knows how fucking dangerous that yeah, sport is. Yeah, of course, of course. <sighs> Same as my son. If my son, like, is in love with boxing, I'm going to show him all the things that come with it. Yep. The black eyes and all everything. The, yeah. the you got to wake up at 5 a.m., all that. Are you ready for that? You know? And then, and then it's yeah. on him if he wants to do it. For me, it was like football, and and you played, so I mean, yeah. I, and I'm sure you've like sustained injuries. Like, man, man. I, there was a time I was 18 years old, and yeah. I had had five surgeries because of this. Sport. That's crazy. And I'm looking around. I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm an old man. Like, I'm yeah. worn out because <laughs> of this. I have <laughs> multiple cool. concussions. Wow. Um, CTE, bro, all that shit. Horrible. Yeah. One time I hit a kid so hard, 
I was laying on the ground for like 10 seconds. I got oh. up. They're already on to the next play because there's a hurry up offense. Yeah. And I'm the linebacker, bro. So it's my job to be like, um, blue, uh, seven. And, yeah. and my guys align the right way. And I could not speak English. My mind was not computing what I was seeing. And when that I tried to speak, crazy. I was like, da, da, da. that is crazy. And for that so reason, it was so rattling. Right? Yeah. Oh, horrifying. And that's, that was the first like thing in my mind where I was like, damn, my coaches are telling me to high school coaches who, by the way, I only really care about one to this day are telling me to sacrifice my body for this one game that yeah. is only going to fuck me up in my life. So, yeah. and then with, with CTE and everything, I'm a little... I don't know about football. And granted, you, I love watching it. Yeah. You know? Do you still feel any of that? Do I still feel it now? Yeah. yeah my legs. I got chicken legs because of uh, two knee surgeries. That knees. is crazy. Yeah. You, you, you've you probably gotten hella, hella Man, injuries. I got, man, tons and tons and tons. But I don't know. Like when you're young, you know, you just have this mentality. Like, you take it. oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Oh, that's part of it. Okay, mom hurts, you know. And then and then you don't really pay attention to physical injuries until you're older. You're like, oh. Like, damn. Do you and, you're never thinking, and you're never thinking of the fact that one day, Hey, shit, I'm a B30. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like when you're 16 years <laughs> yeah, old and you're, and you're hitting a tabletop you, on a exactly. BMX bike and you snap your wrist in half, you're like, you're like oh, all right, they can fix this <laughs> shit. I'll be back on the bike and tomorrow. It, and you will be back on the well, bike Well, you're going to have arthritis when you're not, from, <laughs> You know what I'm but saying? you're not thinking in the long run. You're right. You're right. So do, do you have more fun now being a trainer and using boxing as more of like a fitness outlet? I've always I've always had fun. I've, I I don't do nothing in life if it's not fun. You know, like, 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 and then the fun, the fun expires in that in that field, and then you move on and find different kind of fun. Right. You know, like in terms like, of injury, though, it, it, do you feel better uh, with the work you're doing now? Like, would you still? Yes. Go yes, I, I feel. How often are you I getting feel, tweaked? Like you personally? Um, probably like once a month. Yeah, once a month. You know, was that like get chiro tweaked chiropractor or, shit? Like, yeah, like you roll yeah, a wrist, you know, chiropractor, uh, uh, like the jars. Deep tissue oh, massage, oh. or like. You know, like, oh, I'll take a vacation to clear my mind real quick, you know, where I don't have to think about work for like a few days, you yeah. know. All those are, are 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 like trying to clear the mind and 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 come back because you will burn out. Yeah. You We're, burn out yeah, like somebody like that. me, yeah. like like the high demand and the and the and the, my mind is constantly racing like who needs me today? You know, like who's gonna call me today? Yeah. Or where what part of LA do I have to drive to today? You know, those kind of things. So like you need to you need to recharge and and, and come back or, or you're gonna burn out and then mm. they're gonna they're easily gonna find somebody else you know that's not so you said you still before the show you said you want to talk some shit yeah. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> what I was to us is it, is it just to us. Talk yeah, a, is there I anybody talk a lot out of shit there, to whoever. It doesn't matter. You know how okay. I know he, he's ready, right. but he brought it matter. he brought his punching pad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that for Kevin after? <laughs> yes. Yes, that's that's, that's, that's for that's Kevin. Sick. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working that, on power punches today. On that Kevin and Drake shit. <clears throat> yeah. Who'd win? <laughs> <laughs> who'd win in a fight? Kevin Hart or Drake? Yeah, who'd win? Let's talk I some shit. Reveal that. You I can't reveal that? All right, all right. Give me give me the only question I've already gonna answer today. Give me this though first. Drake, is he is he um like take a shot for me, Drake, in the ring? Or is he like back to back, like bitch who wasn't with me shooting in the gym, Drake? Like which one like is he a passive? Is he a counterpunch? Like No, he's a he's a power puncher. He is. Yes, because people don't know how he's really tall. They're like he's like he's like yeah. He's why he's six two? Yeah, he's like six two. And he bulked up. Yo, what did he do? He's just what did he do to bulk up? Because like three years ago, this motherfucker walked out with Python. With Lane, yeah, 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 yeah. Like um, Johnny Rocks is is his main trainer, you know. And I just come in and work as usual, like like how um um I just train is Kevin's main. Yeah, trainer. yeah, yeah. And I'm just the one that work Boxing, on the hands, yeah. you know. So like hands and footwork. So so those guys are like, like really like in there every day with the. With, <sighs> With the eating clean and yeah. the, and it just just like real savage and like he feels right now that the world tour is bigger than the national the national Global tour shit, gonna yeah, be yeah. yeah so he's like trying to be prepared mentally physically and emotionally <laughs> with with this you know they like, ever uh, articulate to what training and staying in shape does for them mentally they they do and, and, they and, do and because Kevin dude what eight a.m. 
Every day? Sometimes it's just 5 a.m. Sometimes. This can get so hard and taxing. How does he have yeah. energy? Like, bro, I worked out this morning. I'm fucking gas right yeah. now. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The secret is, the secret to staying active and working out, I feel, is like finding your best time of the day as you get older. Routine. That you, that you no, that you feel the most energized. Yeah. 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 He feels, he feels great at, the at 5, 6 a.m. <laughs> you know, he feels great. That's his best performance. You know, he likes to get out of the way before a long day. Of work. I'm the yeah. opposite. You know, I, yeah, yeah. I like see, working out see, at night. Yo. You see, in the yeah. evening, yeah. I like working out midday, yeah. like 12, yeah. 12 p.m. to like two is my best Prime time. time. Yeah. Like, that's our best time to catch me. So, like, do you I'll think destroy anybody? At that do time. you think <laughs> the people that are like, hey, wake up at four a.m. every day? Like, do you think that's kind of like too aggressive? That's that's way too aggressive because uh, uh, people <laughs> people are different. <laughs> what, what about Mark Wahlberg waking up at like two, 2 a.m.? He's off. <laughs> Well, he goes to sleep at what? 6, 6 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah. Seven, seven, Come on, yeah. like, oh, how am I going to yeah, wake up at 2? At 2 o'clock, I'm still, like, at the nightclub. Yo, but, um, so, okay, on that note, because uh, at first, obviously, we saw Mark Wahlberg's sleeping schedule when it came out, and it, it seemed what was it? ridiculous. It was go to bed at 7 p.m., and wake up at 2.30 a.m., hit the gym, and, and go through the day, which is, it's ridiculous. No, 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 that's a good sleeping time, though. Like, look how much time he has. No, 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 he's sleeping for, like, six hours. Uh, yeah. No, like seven, it's, it's, seven it's, hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, I agree. That's like a. I can't go to sleep at seven. Seven no. hours is. I can't perfect, go to sleep at two a.m. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But my manager brought up a good point. Um, because I was talking like this, just that just wouldn't work for my life. No, it wouldn't. He was like, "Yo, what if uh people who follow that schedule or Mark, whatever? What if he has uh some sort of maybe like a a drinking thing or something at night? Uh, a demon that happens during late hours mm. that he now." Has He's to and found out he can combat it by going wow. to sleep so early. You never yeah. know what, and not worrying yeah, exactly, about it. Yeah. Exactly. Like say, bro, say 11 p.m. rolls around and he's like, Yo, I, I really want to gamble right now, you know, and yeah. it, it can get dangerous. He's got a family got and a life got and a career. That makes uphold. sense. That makes sense. Um, which that made sense for me too. Yeah. Which, by the way, he's not all the bad shit happens the case, in the night. But yeah, all the bad shit yeah. happens in the night. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean, all it's the called, bad it's called shit. the two a.m. principle. The, <laughs> nothing good nothing, happens. Yeah. At, nothing good happens at that time. So, so that's crazy <laughs> because now that you think about it, Wahlberg doesn't go to any events. Because really. what I mean, about those, sure those Oscar events? Those are like nine o'clock, and then, what is he doing at that time? He goes, he goes <laughs> to sleep instead. Bro. Okay. He watches it. He goes day. to the end of the party at two thirty when Got he wakes up. Exactly when everybody's <laughs> leaving in the pocket lot. Yeah, and he's I mean like, he's he, <clears throat> that's just an example. I don't think. I mean the dude knows what the fuck he's doing. He's been Got in it. the the game for. Forever Forget now. about it. You Over should, 20 you years. Should, you should start training him, dude. You know he boxes. I love that guy, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I should. Think, I think he has a gym with um a dude named Pete. Peter, we were going to train there. Actually, yeah. he has a home gym, I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He does. Nah, I'm, those guys are gonna. Those guys are gonna come. How did you? How did you meet? <laughs> guys I love the confidence. <laughs> <They'll come. laughs> those guys are gonna come. Like the A, the A listers, the B list, or whatever it is. I mean, you got the A listers. Those guys, yeah, those guys are gonna come. I live in LA now. You get calls from publicists, or is it like a personal DM type shit? Like all of it. All of it. I get I get calls from like um, assistant publicists. I get calls from their trainers. Ah, uh, like yeah. People's trainers call me. I'm like, oh, uh, sure. It's like, hey, man, my guy wants to dabble in the boxing, and everybody says Hollywood. He know Hollywood. He's like, oh, who the fuck is this guy? He yeah. Goes, Listen, I'm like, okay. Uh, are you? What are street you? Are you guys on? I'm on my <laughs> tight. <I don't> know. <laughs> are you? Uh, would you say that you're getting like clicked up? Like if if Pusha T hit you up right now and was like, yo, it's Pusha. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to box. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, yo, I'm mean, yeah, yeah, That's a great question. I'm asking you, like, I, I couldn't do it. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't do it. Wow. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's a clash. Family shit. It's a clash. Yeah, yeah it's a Jake, clash. Uh, There's rules to the game. You know, I've even had, that's happened already a few times at the gym where, like, somebody's coming in and another person's leaving. And then they'll be like, they'll be like, I fucking hate that bitch. I'm like, oh, <laughs> y'all know each other? <laughs> like, yeah, a few years ago. No, we were. I was like, oh, I, I didn't know that. Now I'm a separation. Oh, it's damn. like, no, it's cool. I'm just letting you know. Don't put us to train together one day. Yeah. You know, and it's happened. It's happened in the gym. You what'd know? you what'd you think about all that push a drink beef hysteria? Um, hysteria. I just think it's it's part of the game. It's like, it's like you in entertainment, you think you're the best. I think I'm the best, and let's show. 
numbers don't lie, you know. True. Like yeah, yeah. numbers don't lie. Everybody knows it's funny who's the Push, best. It's funny because Push has got a song "Numbers on the Board." Yeah, a couple albums ago, but Drake obviously yeah. is doing way more, on, come way on. more shit. It's, it's not this, even close. This 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 is international, you know, uh, accolades and attention, and then there's local. You know what I mean? Like this, there's, there's a difference. But like, supposedly, people know when you put the, when you when you put the numbers together, you put the resume together. It's unmatched. It's not even like, close. Come on, it's not even close. It's like so, it's like how people used to go at Michael Jackson back in the day. It's like Michael. Jackson's not looking back and like see who's number two and okay Luther Vandross and yeah. who else is behind me. I, I he didn't care for those things. Like he was like I'm number one. Well, you know who just did and it? That's it. Tory Lanez. You know Tory Lanez. Yeah, who that is. He went on Twitter and called out everybody. He said Tory basically something along the yeah. lines that Tory Lanez the best those, in the game and don't yeah, come at me. Don't things. come at me with no J Cole or K. Dot, like yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, those things like they stir up like controversy. Yeah, and that's they keep, why he does they it. Keep bro. Those people, yeah, 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 they keep those people. Yeah, they keep those people. Social media. It's supposed to talk shit. We're I can go on social media right, right now and call out like the the top five uh, uh, trainers, and, and one people, will respond. People will pay attention yeah, to that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, he knows calling out so and so. Oh my god, you know, like, like that's 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 like beneath me. Like, like yeah. I'm a grown ass man. I'm here to make money, not not yeah. friends. Yeah, you know you're, what I mean? You're classy savage. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm in the I'm in the league of my own. Like I'm I'm untouchable. Yo, yo, yo. If I call those guys, I'm giving them attention. True. Yeah. Like, yeah, which, why would I call them? That? I'm giving them yeah. attention. It's, it's irrelevant yeah. to me. I don't. I don't talk to peasants. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I don't talk to animals. I only talk to the owner of the circus. I like that. You know, what I mean? those, those guys are animals. You know, I only talk to the big dog. You got a little Mike Tyson I don't, and Ali. <laughs> for, like, so you got a little bit of it in you. I told bro. you I'm here to talk shit. You didn't got me hype right now. <laughs> I like that. You didn't got me hype. Yeah. Like I don't. I don't talk to animals. You know what I mean? Could call call the owner of the circus. You know what I mean? Call your boss. I talk to him. <laughs> you know, I, there's so many world issues going on with your content, with what you yeah. do. Are, are there anything? Is there anything in particular that motivates you through training and just through your positivity? Um, man, uh, the number one motivation is like I got a whole like continent, a whole country that like. I'm like carrying on my back. Literally, Literally you have a animal. tattoo. Yes, <laughs> of Africa my on your back. My whole back is like just the continent of Africa, and I, and I'm one of the like young guns that they're looking to to like you know broaden the horizon in a different field that I'm in. Like I don't think there's any like African trainers or fighters uh, come out you know in in recent or or um um in in, the, in history. Do what I'm doing yeah. right now. I saw you. I saw you. Uh, you, you know, you went back recently. Yeah, man. I go back. I go back all the time. You know, I gotta. I gotta. I want the people to see me not just on social media or see me on on Google or whatever. I want them to see me in person. And be like, oh, this kid is from this village, you know, and he made something of himself as a motivation kind of thing. Yeah. You know, not like, oh, I'm coming here. I'm showing off. I'm from America. No, that has nothing to do with it. Yeah. You know, is 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 I'm doing it for the prestige. You know. Yeah. You, you, know, you live the, in Los Angeles people. now. Yeah. So you're, you're, live you're living the dream. So not, but were there, I'm really Hollywood. Yeah. But were there, <laughs> along the way. Yeah. was a nickname. Hey, true. It's, it's yeah. Right. Well, along the way, though, from Queens to it's L.A., what, did you come up with any any real challenges? Were, were there a lot Man, of societal pressures that, that made it a little more difficult I for you to make it? I thrive in pressure. I thrive in, 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 in pressure. I thrive, I thrive in, in like, like pressure buzz pipes, but it also creates diamonds. You know? Hey, true. Yeah, so... So I thrive in those things. I thrive in like fear. Like if you tell me, yo, it's dark in there, don't go in there. I'll be like, all right, well, let's, <laughs> let me go see what's in there. You, know? you got two weapons yeah, on It's more side. fun. <laughs> yeah, it's more, it's more, those things are more fun instead of taking the easy route and the shortcut. The wise man once told me like, if you take a shortcut, you're going to get lost. You can come back to where it all started before and you wish you went that straight yo, path. Someone told me, I had to think about this. Yeah. A shortcut is the, is, is the longest distance between two points. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because technically, you, I mean, you are you're going around. Yeah, shortcut. yeah. It's, when when scientifically, technically, <laughs> technically yeah. a shortcut is the, the longest fastest way between two points is a straight line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scientifically, so why are we trying to find an easy way exactly. out of it? Why don't we just attack? Yeah, but what if what if Hollywood Hino's standing in front of the straight path? <laughs> like I'm nice. going the other fucking you way. You might bro. have to find a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like like um back to your question is like I don't know like. Moving to LA was, I can tell you, a million stuff. I don't think we even have enough time for for. I think I did. I did. I went through everything that that you could go through. You know, the 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 self doubt. The am, am I really like left everything in New York City that I've built in almost ten years to come over here? You know, like like 
um, number one decision to make me come here. You know, I wanted to be here when my son was born, you know, physically. It was mm -hmm. my first child, so I had to be here physically. So that's what really, really made me leave everything I had built in New York City, left all my clients, left the gym, all that. I came here with, like, like nothing, you know, like like literally nothing, like a two suitcases and a book bag. I, I just did the same shit like two yeah. months ago. Yeah, <laughs> same, yeah. same, with, same, with the show. same with my coach. Yeah, Mill, like, and I did I did it all. I, yeah. I Mike's suitcase is still couch. on the ground. It's still it's yeah. still it's still, exactly. packed still up. there. Wait, do you feel like uh, something I felt when I got out here coming from New York was what? like we're hungrier. Yeah, yeah, we're hungry. We are hungry. We, we move, move faster. faster. Yeah, Let's we were faster go, in New bro. York. In New York City, like, 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 I was getting like a hundred things done out here. You know, where the LA mindset is like, I'm gonna tomorrow. take a surf break, I'm doing man. Next month, you know, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. so like when I came out here, I remember people constantly telling me like, "Yo, man, it's gonna take you like two and a half years to no, like not. something happened." I was, I was like, "Bitch, I will do this shit in six months." Let's, Let's go. go. Let's, Let's go, not go <laughs> man. Speak for yourself, man. Don't put them low self esteem <laughs> mentality on me. You know, like it's just, I'm a beast. I didn't come out here. I didn't come out here. This was my number one confidence till today. I didn't come out here like, oh, I'm trying to be a model. Or I'm trying to be whatever. Like I came out here with a legit resume yeah. that I've been working yeah. on for years. Like, hey, listen, boom, here it is. This is who I am. Take it how you want it. Yeah. So that was my confidence. I was like, I didn't come out here like looking for a job or whatever. It was like, like the gym on my rose, I went over there, opened the door and I said, yo, this is home. I'm going to take over this shit. And that's what I did. Was, it, was it your son that was the, the reasoning for the timing? Cause like I, yeah yeah it okay, was okay. it was yeah yeah because I remember I was in New York and I was like counting down my days and yeah. counting down the months I was like oh shit I'm really leaving. would you have Damn. made the jump if the if your son wasn't involved because like I remember I was waiting forever and I was like the right time will come the right time will come there is no right there's time. never a fucking right, right, time. No right time I used at some point you just got to be like y'all I no gotta right pull time. the trigger yeah, yeah yeah once once it comes to you to your to your to your mental and then you feel like doing that's for anything in life not just moving and changing your mindset and changing your environment. When you just, once it comes to your mind, do not dwell on it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. You know what I mean? Like there's a, there's a huge, huge saying that I live by. Like if you feel like you deserve better in life, you do. Yeah. yeah. You get the fuck up and you leave that situation, whatever it is, relationship, work. If you had a job for years and you're like, I'm tired of being paid $5. That's the time to go. Yeah. As soon as you say that first line, yo, I'm tired of these motherfuckers giving me $5 an hour for the last 15 years. That's the yeah, only and last time you should say that. Just go to your lockers and pack your shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So like people dwell and dwell like, oh, I'm going to, I don't like this relationship. And then they stay 10 years long. I'm like, that time that you say you didn't like that relationship, <sighs> get the fuck out. That is when you should have booked <laughs> yeah. that flight and get the fuck up out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so serious. Yeah. People are like, how did you move? How did you just pack? All your <laughs> you were like doing great. You live on Wall Street. You literally, I said, I said, you just pack your shit and go. <laughs> I thought about it. I said, moving to LA. My shit was back Yo, before yeah. I left. It's like, motherfuckers is like, oh, what about you don't miss nobody? I said, bitch, the only time I miss something is when I swing and they duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I miss some shit. Let's go. Seriously, when I throw a motherfucker right hand, <laughs> left hook, and the motherfucker might mistakenly duck, that's the only time I miss some shit. <laughs> So you I must like be, that. yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm telling people, I'm like, yo, just pick up and go. You want to move to Atlanta? You want to move out of the country? Just, do just it. pick up and go. That first time that it came to your mind, just just, just pack your shit and go. You ain't yeah. got that much shit anyway. A hundred, yeah. underwear and one Yeezys. Get the fuck out hey, of here, man, bitch. Bro. You know, so like, so <laughs> you only got an underwear and one Yeezy. <laughs> that's all you got. That's one Yeezy, got. not one pair. One <laughs> Yeezy so boost. Right. That's one it, bro. Boot. That's it. The boost. That's yeah, it. So, so like people are like wondering like, like what they're gonna, what they're gonna, um, oh man. Uh, um, what if I'm gonna leave people? People are gonna miss me. I'm like, were you were you more significant other than me? Like, were you did you have a presence like I had in New York City, <laughs> and I still left? Yeah. Like, who's gonna miss? I didn't think about nobody missing me. Like, I'm gone. It's the next chapter in life. You I have think to close that old one and move on. People, yeah. people Fuck forget. You for? People forget how magical their minds are and magical Dude, they, we so are. So powerful. Yo, being hung up. Is an epidemic. Yeah. Right now. Well, I mean, just like and how no one many thinks they can hate. do anything. No one thinks they can do anything. And yeah. why and, is and, that? And I've experienced this in my personal relationships. Like, yeah. Often for the, in the past year or so, and I'm just like, just fucking do it. That's just it. Start. Yeah. It start yeah. somewhere. You, you somewhere. Say, what's your? What do you say all, all the time? Uh, just keep moving forward. Right? Just keep That's moving it. forward. I mean, no I, I, I mean, just quickly. I mean, I, I learned that through overcoming addiction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. spent I spent eight years in active addiction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and I and I got to a point where I said, "This is my life forever." And then 
I realized no, it's not. No, it's and not. I made I'm changes, and I and I went from the from sleeping on floors and basements to where I am now. To where and, you are and, now. and that story will come later. But on like, the number one podcast, on the number one podcast, on the number, number one. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! I want to go to an audio only version right now. I got some more things I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about KSI and the KSI fight. Ooh. <laughs> y'all, y'all gonna have to listen to that on the audio. Oh only. God! <laughs> so yo, like it. That's audio. Yeah. Oh bro. shit! I hope my voice is not in there. No. So unfortunately, <laughs> that's all. It's all. It is. Oh, crazy. <laughs> how it's things work in voice. LA it's the opposite of New York <laughs> dude that's crazy uh, yeah. I've never heard this no it's new it's your okay. first podcast no it's not my first podcast but it's my first podcast Th- that and is the number, number one, one podcast yes. let's fucking go exactly hit that subscribe button on planet button. earth and Jupiter Spotify iTunes Hollywood he know I'm ladies and gentlemen thank you for blessing us with what your time, time today my friend I love it audio version only impulsive peace alright stay there I'll talk